In this video, I will show you how to use a rich text editor called CK Editor in ASP.NET Web application. So here we have a form that contains the title and the content. So the title is an input field and the content is a text area. And when we submit the form, it will be submitted using the post method. So the content of this input field will be displayed inside this div and the content of this text area will be displayed inside this div. So in this video, I will show you how to replace this text area with a rich text editor. First, let's take a look on the source code. So here in the index page, we can see that we have a row that has two columns. So this is the first column. And this is the second column. So in the first column, we have a form. And the data of the form will be submitted using the post method. So in this form, we have an input field called title, and we will display the old content of this input field. Then we have a text area that is called content. And also here we will display the value of the content variable that is defined in the module. Then we have the submit button. So when we submit the form, we will also display the title inside this div. So here we have a div that will display the content of the title. And we have another div that will display the content of the text area. So now I will show you how to use a rich text editor instead of this text area. So let's go to the browser and let's type CK editor. Let's go to the first link. Then let's click on CK editor 5, then documentation. Then getting started. Then here we can click on this link start using CK editor from the CDN. Then let's click on quick start guide. Then we need to use this source code. So first we need to provide the text area with an ID. And the ID that we will provide to the text area should be the same ID that we will provide to this JavaScript function. So first, let's copy this code that allows us to import the JavaScript file from the CDN. Then we need to add it to the layout file. So the layout file is available under shared, which is also available under pages. So let's open this file and let's scroll down. And just here we can paste the code. Then we need to copy this code. And also we need to paste it inside the layout file. So just here we can paste it. So the ID that we have here should be the same ID that we have to provide to the text area. Let's change it and let's write my editor. Let's copy it. Then let's go to the index file. Then let's add the ID to this text area. Let's save the files and let's test the application. And now we can see that we have a rich text editor. So here let's provide a title and let's provide a content. Then let's edit this content. So for example, we can display these lines as list. So we can click on this button and also we can display these lines as another list. Then we can display this text in bold. Then submit. So here we have the title and here we have the content of the text area. But we can see that this content is displayed as HTML text and we need to display it as HTML content. So let's go to the source code. Let's delete this code and let's replace it with at html.row and between parentheses we have to provide the variable that contains the content of the text area. Now let's test the application again. Let's provide a title. Then let's fill the text area.
then submit and now we can see that the content of this text area is displayed as an HTML content.